Hi everyone, how are you doing today? Hope you're all doing well. I'm back after only a week. I can't believe it. It's been a very busy week though, so I have not a whole lot of progress. But I did want to come back and just have a little chat with you all and see how you're all doing and show you my progress of what I did get done. Uh, this week has been very busy work-wise. On Friday, Thursday night into Friday, I spent the night in Atlantic, Atlantic City, New Jersey for a conference on, uh, it was Autism New Jersey conference, so that was a lot of fun. Not my favorite conference in the world, but it was always informative and eye-opening. And I go every few years, but I don't go every year just because I allow other teachers at the school to be able to have a chance to go. And this year I had an opportunity to go. So I went ahead and took part in that. And that was interesting and a lot of fun. So because of that, I didn't have a lot of time to uh, get my stitching and knitting on this week. But we'll get to that in a minute. First off, last week I did announce the winners of large project competition, large project finish competition. And I want to thank you all for your outpouring of support and encouragement to all those who participated and showing whenever I showed all the, the participants uh, finishes. That was a lot of fun. And I want to thank you all for the comments and the the Shouts of, shout outs of encouragement. I want to make note of, there was a lot of people that were asking about, asking for the, showing the, the pictures or the, the finishes of the winners. And I want to uh, make it aware that that was not my intention from the very beginning. So I am not going to do that. And the reason for that is the whole purpose of this this competition and I use competition loosely because it was really more about participation in encouraging you all just like I was encouraging myself to get those large projects since I love large projects completed and therefore I don't I was not the whole purpose and the whole reasoning behind this this giveaway and this competition was just to see how many projects the group the collective could get done during the time period and so i wanted to encourage you all to finish those large projects that you had on the go for a long period of time and therefore it was not about comparing one person's project to another and so I am not going to show the pieces that were of the winners that the winners completed because that was not the purpose. It was more about you enter and it was a, a opportunity to then be, uh, to be entered into a random giveaway. And I did not mention in the video last week but I did put it in the comment information section below, of the, below the video that the winners were selected by random number generator before the video was filmed. So all three winners were selected at random number generator based on the order in which the pro projects were uh, received by email. So every time I received an email, that email was then a, a given a number, so one through, one through 68 in chronological order based on the order that they came in. And then I chose random number generator to then award the giveaway winners. So I want to thank you all again for the, the, the love and the encouragement in the community for those, uh, for those, those finishes. I think it was great that we had so many diverse and different uh, projects that were in the group. And it was as simple as you if you had a 100 by 100 project that was on the go, 100 stitches wide by 100 stitches tall, did not have to be full coverage, you got to have an entry, entry into the giveaway. Participation. That's all it was. 
Finally, I did want to make note that there was one comment that I did delete from the comments last week. I am not one for censorship. And that took a lot of thought and contemplation in order for me to do so. But when it comes to the point of either disrespect or outright rudeness towards the people that watch my video, the people that come to my channel or myself, I'm not about that. And this, the, my channel is all about respect and, and love of the crafts that I, that we, we come here for. And whenever people start disrespecting and, you know, there's, there's a difference between disrespect and having a difference of opinion. And when, it, when it crosses that line of being disrespectful, I, I'm not going to have that on this channel. So it took a lot of thought and contemplation to, for me to decide that I was going to de uh, delete that comment, and I did. I'm not going to talk about that comment, but I do want to just make note. So in case somebody did see it and now they don't see that, that is why. And I'm just going to leave that there. So I'm not one that would typically delete comments. I leave, usually leave everything there, even if it is something that I disagree with, because I think it, it is... A safe, it, we should have safe, open dialogue for disagreements and conflict because healthy conflict is a good thing. However, when it comes to unhealthy and disrespectful conflict, that's when I have a problem. And I'm not going to have that on my channel. Now, let's get to what we were all here for. So, I don't have very much to show this week. We're going to start with my knitting and real quick i want to uh, make note of some comments and questions that i've received in email instagram and in the comments below my previous videos about my sock patterns that i use i use a various different sock patterns throughout um, that i've done some research on on ravelry for my sock knitting and i've done that because just one pattern isn't really, one pattern doesn't have everything in one sock that I absolutely like. So what I have done is now that I have completely finished one set of socks and I understand the workings of how a sock comes together to make that 3D shape, I now use different parts of different sock patterns to form the type of sock that I really like. So to answer all those questions that I've received, I use various sock patterns to complete one sock. So, and, and then I also just go off of what I think would work best in order to get my sock the way that I want my socks to look. So I use the afterthought heel from one pattern and I use the rounded toe sock, the rounded toe pattern from another, uh, the rounded toe design from another pattern and I use uh, the different types of uh, legs and foots for another pattern. It just, it all depends upon how I like to do my socks. I do knit my socks using a circular needle. Um, and then I use the straight needles for the toes and heels. So I hope that answers some of your questions as far as how I knit my socks. And if it helps you I would be glad to give you some information as far as what types of patterns I use. I do use the Rose City Rollers as far as the, that's where I find the, the Rose City Rollers pattern is where I found the, the rounded toe, which is what I really like. And I, I like the look of the rounded toe better than the pointed toe. Or I guess it's the squared off toe. I'm not exactly sure what it's called. And I believe... I'm not exactly sure where I found the afterthought heel, but I believe you can, there's many different patterns out there that have those different types of sock parts to them. So with that being said, I have completely finished my first sock for my mom. It is using the This is, uh, I'm looking for the tag right now so I can tell you exactly what it's called. It is a Knit Picks Sock Yarn. I know it's called Sunset. 
Here it is. It's called Sunset. It is a stroll fingering and it's a sunset hand painted. It's a little bit showing a little bit redder than what it actually is, a little bit more vibrant than what it actually is. It's a little bit more of a dustier color maybe, if that makes sense. And here is the sock. So I use the Afterthought heel. My lighting is horrible today because it's really dark and dreary out, so I'm doing the best I can. So, so there is the sock. I have the rounded toe, the rounded toe. and all I did was uh, my mom was wanting a an ankle sock, so this time instead of doing the Rose City Rollers, I did a 10, 10 row two by two rib, and then another ten rows for the leg. And then I went right into the the leg or the foot, and then I added in the, the heel. And there you go. So that is one sock down, one more to go, and then I'll be good to go. I do um, I am going to have her measure her foot one more time just to make sure I have the right measurements. Because this does seem a little bit small, but that's compared to like my foot. So I think I'm right on the measurements, but I just want to double check. So that is one sock down. And that is all the knitting I've done this week, but that's pretty good for having for one week of knitting is one sock. Cross stitch. And I've only worked on one project since last week. I have been work knitting pretty much, or yeah, rewind. I have been stitching pretty much every day except for the two days that I was in Atlantic City. I've stitched pretty much every day. I haven't stitched yet today, but I do plan on stitching some today. I am working on my Jacobean bell pull. And again, I am stitching, there we go, the large bell pull here on the front of the design. This is a leisure arts pattern from, I think it's 1980. Yeah, 1980. So it's a leisure arts pattern book from 1980. And I'm working on the largest pattern. Right there we go. And I'm on page four of five. So, and, and when I'm saying page four of five, I'm working from the bottom up. And I'm getting lots of glare. Sorry about that. So I'm working on page four of five and I'm working from the bottom up. I'm like right in this section here. And I made some pretty good progress on this. I was hoping to have this done by now, but I didn't quite get there in this page, but I didn't quite get there. But here is the progress. So I pretty much have all of the greenery done except for this leaf right here. All I have left to do is the the black work in that leaf and then i will be ready to move on to the color work so there we go so basically i'm doing um color completing per page so as as i went i did all of the all of the the light greens in this leaf and then I, I tried to find in wherever else I could put them in on the page so in here and up in here and then I went into the darker greens and I put them in everywhere else and so that is what I am doing so the rest of the page is right up to about maybe here there's another there's a big flower in here and then there's some more branch work that I have to put in. And then there's the beginning of the butterfly and the branch up here. So my Jacobean bell pull. Getting closer to a finish. And I'm probably going to continue working on that until that is fully finished. So hopefully maybe in the next week or two. I will have finished. I'm hoping maybe by the end of October that will be completely finished. So we will see. But there's no pressure, no holds barred to get that done. I'm just hoping to keep on working and we'll see how things go. 
Again, I really don't have any plans as far as my stitching or knitting. I'm going to keep working on my mom's pair of socks for my knitting. Also, maybe pull out my sweater to keep working on that because I really would like to get that done since it is now sweater weather. And because it is now getting down into the 40s here at night. And we'll go from there. I have not made any purchases in the last week. I do not have, didn't have anything come in the mail. And I don't plan to. So hopefully we'll keep that up. I have this year, other than going to the one retreat that I went to this year, I have not really made any cross stitch purchases at all. And I'm really, really pleased with that. So I'm going to keep that up because I have so many kits and patterns that I want to stitch that I'm just maintaining what that I have already in my stash that I'm going to keep going with what I have. And hopefully I can continue doing that. So that is all I have for you today. I hope you all have a wonderful week. Hopefully maybe I can continue on this trend of every week, but we will see how things go. And until then, I hope you all have a wonderful week of crafting, your knitting, or your stitching. If you do have any questions as far as anything that I've showed you on the channel, please feel free to reach out to me, either my email, which I put at the bottom in the show notes of every episode, or you can reach out to me on Instagram. That's ginger.gerald.stitcher on Instagram. I am always willing to answer any questions that you may have as far as knitting or stitching that I do. And if you have any interest in what I'm doing, reach out to me. Let me know. If you like what you've seen, please feel free to, please, and you haven't subscribed already, make sure you click the subscribe button. And I hope you do so. I've continued to receive many new subscribers. And I look forward to seeing you all again soon. Thank you very much for continuing to follow me. And I look forward to reading all of your comments. And until then, I will see you on the next video. And don't forget to always be creative.